Hello everybody. Um, today I'm gonna show you uh, a nice and easy way that you can uh, uh, use Microsoft Excel to do the uh, Macape Thiele diagram um, instead of doing the uh, drawing manually and uh, get a more accurate um, uh, diagram. So uh, before I start with Excel, I would just uh, revise quickly um, the Macape Thiele diagram. So uh, the steps are as follow: you first draw the diagram, the XY diagram. You draw the 45 degrees line, then you draw the equilibrium curve, and then put the concentrations or the compositions of the feed, the top section, and the bottom uh, or the top product and bottom product, the XD, XF, and XW. And then um, you know that the top section is the intersection or it's um, the line that starts with xd and xd and uh, ends with xd uh, over r plus one at x equals zero and this is the top section and then you should know um, that there is a q line which starts with the feed and then it depends on the uh, 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 phase uh, which phase the feed is in and then you draw the uh, the line using the slope and I'll go to this in uh, like few slides and then you get the intersection of the top and bottom sections uh, from that point that we have here and then you use it to draw the bottom line uh, or bottom section line by connecting this point to the uh, XW and XW point so then you can draw the stages uh, as we saw last time so this is briefly what we said in the previous two videos and then uh, we said that you need to know the reflex ratio which is the R and in order to get it you need to calculate the minimum reflex ratio which is the intersection of the uh, you get the pinch point which is the intersection of the Q line and the equilibrium curve and then um, you connect this point the pinch point with the uh, top section line uh, point which is XD and XD and then the um, that point is XD over 1 over uh, 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 XD over 1 plus R minimum and then this R minimum um, is not the one that you're gonna use in your um, system you're uh, multiplied by 20% or whatever and then this is the value of the R actual that you're gonna use so um, yeah it depends uh, maybe 20 or 30 percent so there are two things um, I just need to uh, say before I go to Excel so uh, uh, they are kind of mathematical stuff but it's important uh, in in doing this in Excel so uh, one thing we uh, we uh, will do is to draw the Q line and we know the Q line uh, starts with X feed and X feed um, on the uh, 45 degrees line and then it uh, it somehow is connected with another point and then you can draw the Q line so actually what we know is that this is the equation and we know uh, only the point which is X feed and X feed but you don't know the other point you just know the slope so how, how you can use the slope so it's pretty simple actually you can use the slope and one point to get the other point and this is simple you know that the slope is delta Y over delta X you know one X and one Y then you assume another X and you calculate another, the other way so you you now can get the y2 uh, from any assumed value of x2 and since it's a straight line then so any any point would work you don't need to worry about this and now you have a, another point and then you can draw it very simply the other thing is how to get the intersection of the uh, top section line and the q line actually it's uh, something that's uh, uh, very famous in uh, mathematics is how to get the intersection of two lines by uh, equating them together like put the first and second equal to each other or calculate or, or i mean solving them together and um and this is the point that we are trying to get and these are the two equations that we have and in, for the sake of simplicity I'll make them uh, in that form uh, a1x uh, plus b1 and a2x plus b2 so I know that a1 is r over r plus 1 and b1 is xd over 1 plus r and the same here so to solve them together you will get that form of the equation uh, which will will end up with that shape so you can simply calculate all these uh, constants because you know all these values from the uh, uh, from your problem that you have and then uh, you can substitute with this x in any one of these two equations to get the y and then you have another point you can um, connect these two uh, I mean you, you know you you now know the, the point uh, the x2 and y2 and then you can connect this with the bottom uh, section uh, other point so uh, that's all and then we let's go to Excel so before I start with Excel I just want to uh, point out something that's really important and um, this is a program that you're gonna make by yourself uh, for uh, your problem so Excel doesn't understand that this is the solution doesn't understand that this is any uh, like uh, uh, concentrations or compositions or stages or equilibrium or it doesn't understand anything so it's not like uh, any simulation software it will like uh, give you an error message or pop up any problem that happens with your calculations of the input it will just um, put 
uh, or, or show you whatever you put uh, either it's right or wrong so you need to be cautious because uh, there might be something wrong and you wouldn't notice this so um, the way we are gonna go with this is by uh, putting just lines on a plot and there will be like a lot of lines one for the equilibrium one for the 45 and one for top section one for bottom section so to be like group of lines and this is not a big deal uh, excel will just do everything but you need to make sure that you give the inputs uh, uh, right so it, it plots it right so for for our case what we have here we have these two the three compositions or concentrations of the feed top section and bottom section you have a feed of 55 percent of a and b i don't i don't care what is a and b just uh, an example of a and b and um, of course, these compositions are of the more volatile component. So the XD is 95% and XW is 5%. And you know that um, the Q, the value of Q is 0.75. So the feed is uh, like in the wet region, it's half vaporized or 75% of this is, uh, is vaporized. And um, I, I calculated the slope of your Q line. It's Q over Q minus 1. So um, I have it already. And I know these are the, two, the, the, the top section would be from 0 to 1, 0, 0 to 1, 1. So let's start with the top section, the 45 degrees because it is simple so what I'm gonna do is uh, go to insert and then uh, scatter uh, and here you go so now this is the first thing I'll, I'll just um, do some uh, edits to the figure so it looks uh, more like the uh, uh, Thiele diagram that we are uh, uh, that we we all know so what I'm gonna do now is uh, uh, so the plot has to start with 0 and end with 1 it cannot exceed that and the same for uh, the other guy start with zero and end with one so now you have the two axes like this i am um, I, I just need to make it uh, every uh, point one um i prefer to have a border uh, there are like a bunch of things you can do like you can make the uh, the, the border style with um, uh, uh, like uh, thicker uh, whatever Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I did something. Yeah, it's here. So you can um, make uh, no tick marks here, no tick marks here. Just so it, it's not gonna make any difference, just to make it look uh, more, more familiar. And then I prefer to have like a border here just to uh, have everything like what we are uh, used for. Uh, I'm sorry, I like to, to make it uh, look nice so uh, it wouldn't take much time. Uh, 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 so here we are almost done so we have here one one uh, uh, thing here which is the uh, so it's it's not actually done so sometimes this happens it uh, it flips the uh, oops sorry uh, it flips the axes or the the x and y so if you have any problem you can go to select data uh, i prefer to rename every one so i'll say this is the 45 degrees line so i know that this is the uh, 40 uh, 45 degrees line and um here we have the two points i don't want points i want it to be line so i need no markers i need line style to be uh, like uh, thin so it's they don't make trouble so now you have something which is more familiar uh, than it was before um, now we need to put the points that we have so I know that the top section starts with XD and XD so I'll, I'll uh, link everything to uh, um, to the initial values that I have here and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you at the end why I'm doing this so I have the Q line starts with X feed and X feed so I, I didn't do any calculations yet I'm just uh, putting the, the the inputs that I have and the bottom section is uh, one point is uh, x uh, w and x w. So let's see what what we have now. We need to plot the equilibrium curve. So one form of the equilibrium relation is this: it's um, alpha x over one minus one minus alpha x, which is uh, one sort sort of equation that's kind of famous. And the alpha is the relative volatility, and actually um, it, we have it here as three. And this is the vapor pressure of the more volatile over the vapor pressure of the less volatile. So it, it tells you how easy or, or difficult the separation was so um, what I'm gonna do is to put values starting from 0 um, to uh, 1 uh, with 0.1 increment and calculate the y for each of one of them so it will be uh, uh, alpha and then I will do f4 multiplied by x um, divided by 1 minus 1 uh, oops minus alpha and one f4 
uh, multiplied by x and here we go so I'll get all these points and um, then select data and I'll add another uh, line to the plot and it's called equilibrium so as you see you just need to um, um, get the the points and to just put them in the plot so here, here it goes uh, it is kind of thick I prefer to make it thin actually and I'll, uh, you'll, you'll see at the end if you have close points it will be easier for you to make them uh, very thin lines so you, you know which is which one one nice thing here is you can make it this a smooth line so it's not a broken line so it is easier or, or better uh, to see uh, I, I prefer to make this uh, very thin and to make it like dotted so it doesn't disturb okay so um, here you have the equilibrium and 45 degrees line you need to go for the top section bottom section so you start with put uh, top section Q line and then bottom section so the top section as we know um, you need to uh, uh, know the R minimum and R minimum depends on the Q line so Q line would be the first thing to try so we know as we said the Q line you have a slope and you have the um, uh, one point and then to get the other point you need to assume a value of X so I know the Q line would go something like this so the X would be smaller so I'll assume a value of X of point 2 and then I'll get the uh, Y of this uh, corresponding to this from um, the uh, slope so as we said it will be X2 minus uh, X feed multiplied by the slope and this is plus x feed so you have here these two points uh, it's 1.6 which is too much so make it 0.3 uh, or 0.4 uh, yeah okay so I, I can plot this this is not very accurate it is x2 minus xf uh, multiplied by the slope plus x okay yeah let's let's uh, so it looks right so I'll, I'll um, select data and then add and then I'll say Q line and the X would be this and Y would be this okay so yeah here it, here it comes and uh, I'll make this line uh, thinner so uh, now we have the Q line and we can um, see what is the uh, uh, our minimum so let's uh, let's uh, draw the, the the top section but the top section actually to get it you have to assume a value of r um, we have we know that the other point is zero and the y is xd over one plus r but actually we don't know what is the value of r you need to get the r uh, minimum i'll get this here try to make it bigger so you can see it easily because it's kind of uh, not very easy to see um, I'll just put it here it's, you don't need to see this anymore um, so I'll assume a value of R minimum let's say 1 and then use it to um, calculate or, or, or plot the the, um, the top section line so it will be XD over 1 plus R minimum so now we need to get just the pinch point and to use it to get the R minimum um, so we'll get a select data and add the top section and the x values will be this and y values will be this and you press ok ok so it's not it's not actually um, very accurate you, you still have some distance here so uh, you need to decrease it a little bit so I'll try 0.9 uh, it looks almost there that's not very very good so I'll try 0 0.88 0 0.85 ok 0.85 looks good so let's assume 0.85 is the right answer let's make it thin uh, okay so now we know that the R minimum is 0 0.85 so to get the right R you multiply it by we said by 1.25 for instance and then uh, you have uh, okay you have the value this is the actual value of the reflex ratio so to plot the right um, uh, 
top section you just need to get this to be calculated from the actual R so now you know that this is the top se section starts here and ends here pretty simple nothing pro no problems and now to go to the bottom section you need to get this intersection I know this point which is 0 0.05 0 0.05 but I don't know that point so to get this point we, we, we said you need to calculate A1, A2, A3 uh, and B1, B2 and from these to get the uh, point of intersection so A1 would be R over 1 plus R and a2 equals uh, xd over 1 plus r which is this and b1 would be um, the slope which is minus 3 uh, oops so i already calculated them before so i don't need to do the um, the uh, calculations anymore so i'm sorry i did something wrong this is um, this is b1 i'm sorry uh, this is B1 which is um, XD over 1 plus R but A2 would be the slope yeah I, I got confused so just this here and this here and for the B2 would be negative X feed which is this multiplied by uh, or divided by um, Q minus 1 so here I have all the points and to get oops and to get x you just calculate it from b2 minus b1 divided by a1 minus a2 and then y would be calculated from any one of the two equations which is a1 multiplied by x plus b1 so now you have oops a1 multiplied by yeah plus b1 this value so now you have the two points um in order to check that looks like right it's around 0.5 and 0.7 something which is right to to make sure that you're right you need to uh, plot the, the the bottom section and if it starts at the same point then you're right so this is the last step here you will add the um, bottom section and the x would be these points and y would be these points and voila yeah here it goes it it looks perfect so the line style i'll make it thinner and um now your your plot is ready um you have the q line top section and bottom section no you know that this is the top part of the plot the bottom part of the plot the the nice nice thing about it is that when you um go ahead and uh, do any other uh, change in the uh, in the uh, unit system let's say you make it at 0.9 uh, it will automatically change everything if you change the uh, q from 0.75 to 0.5 for instance then you will your plot will, will automatically change everything and um, uh, let's say you'll make it this 0.2 it, it it will do every change without any problem you can make it 0.1 you'll make it uh, uh, and it will be uh, pretty nice if you have a uh, uh, high concentration of the uh, top section and very low concentration of bottom section it will be like the actual uh, case um, but the only problem here is that you need to make sure if you change anything in the system that the R minimum would be recalculated other than, other than this um, you're, you're, uh, you're gonna be uh, good to go um, and this depends on the queue so our queue was 0.75 so you need to stick to it and then do other calculations in case you you need to change anything so this is almost everything for today so uh, now you can um, draw your plot and uh, you can print it and then draw the stages by yourself or uh, wait for the next video where we're, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to um, draw the stages like the same uh, thing we did today so I'll see you next time inshallah. bye bye